Hello, this is Sarah Jade for WDEE-TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE-TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our top story today comes from the Ypsilanti Courier and writer Ben Baird. The Ann Arbor News is reporting a 52-year-old man was shot dead early October 27th during an incident at Lake Point Apartments in Ypsilanti Township. Sheriff deputies responded at about 9.02 a.m. to the 5900 block of Bridge Road. 46-year-old man was taken into custody without incident as a suspect. The shooting reportedly involved a verbal confrontation over a woman who lives at an apartment complex. More on this story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, wdeetv.com. Coming up next, an armed robbery is reported after a drug transaction in Superior Township. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221-0296. Ask about layaways and in-store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. This is Sarah Jade for WDEE-TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE-TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our next headline news story today comes from the Ypsilanti Courier and writer Ben Baird. The Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office is pursuing an investigation against two suspects wanted for committing an armed robbery during a drug transaction. It's believed they assaulted two others at about 10.30 a.m. October 23rd and stole their cash in a wooded area to the east of Sheffield Drive and Norfolk Avenue in Superior Township, according to the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office. A firearm and a cell phone were also reported stolen. Only one of the victims remained on the scene to report what happened. According to the Sheriff's Office, the suspects are known to investigators, but the victims are not corresponding with the investigation. More on this story can be found on the local news feeds link on your website, wdeetv.com. Coming up next, Chelsea-based Jiffy Mix launches a vegetarian version of its famous corn muffin mix. Welcome back. This is Sarah Jade for WDEE-TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE-TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our next headline news story today comes from the Chelsea Standard and writer Nicole Seguin. Jiffy Mix is now vegetarian friendly. The Chelsea-based company recently announced a vegetarian version of their famous corn muffin mix, which removes lard from the ingredients. Instead, vegetable shortening made of palm and soybean oils is used. The product is expected to be on store shelves in early fall. Boxes can be purchased online by going to www.jiffymix.com slash store slash index and the following links from there. More on this story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, wdeetv.com. Coming up next, Zenders of Frankenmuth, Michigan is opening a new water park this week which features a retractable roof. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221-0296. Ask about layaways and in-store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. 
Welcome back. This is Sarah Jade for WDEE TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our next headline news story today comes from the Detroit Free Press with no byline given. Zender's Splash Village Hotel and Water Park is opening a new water park in Frankenmuth this week. That includes a retractable roof. The Atrium Water Park opens to the public on Friday. It also features a 20-person hot tub, a six-story raft ride, and a six-story slide, and an activity pool with water geysers, water basketball, and volleyball. The addition hotel is about 29,000 square feet of space. The 20,000 square foot Splash Village Water Park opened in 2005. It includes a river feature, four-story slide, and a 400-gallon dumping bucket. It, the atrium and Splash Village water parks are located at the same site. The hotel also has expanded its ac accommodations with an additional 32 rooms. The expansion project also doubled the number of water park locker rooms and expanded an indoor arcade. More on the story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, wdeetv.com. Coming up next, the governor's mansion is not much of a home to the current governor. Welcome back. This is Sarah Jade for WDEE TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our final headline news story today comes from the Detroit Free Press and writer Kathleen Gray. Since Governor Rick Snyder took office in 2011, the governor's residence has turned from a family home where occasional meetings and receptions were held to less of a home and more of an extension of state government. Instead of living in the official governor's residence in Lansing, Snyder has chosen to commute from his home near Ann Arbor. So the 8,700 square foot Lansing home has turned into a spot for State Department meetings, official receptions and parties, and a spot for private businesses and political groups to hold meetings, luncheons, dinners, and fundraisers. Under Snyder, outside organizations have used the residence more than 30 times, and while they're not charged a rental fee, they are encouraged to make a donation to the Foundation to Renovate Michigan, a 501c3 nonprofit set up to maintain and operate the governor's residence in Lansing and on Mackinac Island. Other states, including South Carolina and Colorado, have no problems renting out the residence and its grounds for events, even weddings. But it's who is using the residence that raises questions for government watchers. More on the story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, wdeetv.com. For WDEE TV headline news, this has been Sarah Jade saying don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our headline news on your YouTube channel. All social media links are WDEE TV. Thanks for watching WDEE TV, and you guys have a great night. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221-0296. Ask about layaways and in-store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free.